And then the witch locked the fairy and all the elves in a big cage. Help! Help! They shouted. Hee hee, I'll never let you go, said the witch. Oh no! Why did she lock the children up? Because the witch was very naughty and the children were annoying her. Ah! All the chasing around had made the witch hungry. So she ate a mouldy old cake. Chomp, chomp, chomp! Ooh! Why did she eat a mouldy old cake? That's what witches eat. And she drank a glass of sour milk. Glug, glug, glug. After that, she fell asleep. Snore, snore, snore. She's asleep, said the fairy. Quick, let's escape. So the elves broke open the cage door and the fairy princess got her wand back. <gasps> then the witch woke up. <gasps> Get back in your cage, cried the witch. But the fairy was already casting her spell. Zip, ping, current bun, witch's magic all undone. In a flash, all the children were set free and the witch, stuffed full of mouldy old cake, couldn't catch them. The end. Hooray! Then what happened, Mummy? Um, the witch was told off for being mean and nasty and made to wash dishes for the rest of her life. Ooh. Horrible things, witches. It's a good job they don't really exist, isn't it? <laughs> this is fun! Oh, a spider! <laughs> it's only a toy spider. Dad gets it out every year. Ho, 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 Happy Elf Joke Day! Ho, 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 ho! Mr Elf! I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly. I hope we didn't startle you. <laughs> it's OK. It's funny. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you. Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch? If you don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So, you don't chase elves or fairies anymore then? Oh, no. I just... Look, witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That! Or make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny! You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you! Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing... A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was... Very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs Witch. Goodbye. Bye-bye. We're going to look at frogs. Um, uh, there aren't any frogs here. Not one frog. Well, that's disappointing. Can we go home now? It's no problem. I'll turn one of us into a frog. 
Can I have a volunteer, please? Come on. Who wants to be a frog? Goodness, what a lot of miseries. I'll just have to do it myself. Zigzag, Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum... We can't leave her as a frog. Can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari! Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Africa fairy, frog to fairy. When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The, the Tooth Fairy! fairy. <laughs> Nanny, why did Mummy say being a Tooth Fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. <laughs> You. Bye. <laughs> right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly, and she likes to eat. Flies. Eat flies? Oh. Shh! Yes, that's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream, spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Hooray! Very good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello. Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? I think that means yes. 
<laughs> Thank you ever so much. Well done, Holly. Let's check our list. A dewdrop. Here, Nanny Plum. Slug slime. Here, Nanny Plum. Last of all, we need a frog burp. Hmm, this could be tricky. There's a frog, Nanny. Oh, good morning, Mr Frog. Would you be so good as to burp into this jar, please? Try and relax. That's it. Oh, we haven't got all day. To make babies burp, you rub their backs. OK, I'll rub the frog's back. I can hear something. Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. Now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Ah, that's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. That is bad. <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting. Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me, it's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> no!